I mean, we got five guys that we're going to stack together and uh, they're obviously in a position. And I think they know more than they're letting on to believe. I don't know about the Mac Jones team, but they, know, I think they know who they want. Um, and I think that's why you don't make this move unless no. you do that. They, they, you don't just make this move and say, Hey, we're good with whomever. Like you, you that, that's you know, not the Shanahan you know. way. Yeah, yeah. I, I want to ask you, I already asked you kind of who you think they would take, but I want, who would you take? I'm like a little transition. I'm, you're the GM. You, theoretically, let's assume it goes Trevor. It goes Zach. You've got Mac Jones. You've got Trey Lance. Um, you've got Justin Fields. You are the GM. Who are you drafting and building this team around? Uh, to me, Adam, it's very easy. And it's been this way the entire time. I would take Justin Fields and I would take Justin Fields if I was the Jets at number two, because, Oh no. Well, it, listen, this has nothing to do with Zach. Wilson. I'm feeling this way too, though. That's right. I'm conflicted. I don't need you making me more conflicted. <laughs> no, listen, I think in most drafts, Zach Wilson is worth the number one or number two pick. And I've said that all along. He is a worthy candidate at two. It, it would be fantastic. If the Jets pick him, you should be very happy. I just think Justin Fields is better. And I think he has been better for the last couple of years. I mean, what he's done at Ohio state is incredible. His game against Clemson this year, where he's playing with the broken ribs, might Surreal. be the best collegiate game I've ever seen from a quarterback. And it's not, I mean, I, I, I guess I don't know what I'm missing here because he was a high recruit. He was the number one dual threat quarterback in his class. He was productive at Ohio State. Uh, he has all the traits. Why isn't this guy the consensus number two pick? I guess I don't get it. There was, uh, you know, to start the year, he was so good. You, you, he had more touchdowns than incompletions, yeah. I think, through like his first three and a half games. And I think the concern, and I don't necessarily share this, there were some concerning things in the Indiana game. There were some concerning throws. The, the, the Clemson game, I'm with you, is, is like a legacy moment. And as a collegiate player, I'll never, or someone who just loves college football, oh, yeah, I will never great. forget that. So I think, I think that's it. I mean, I I'm with you and I would love to see what a guy like Shanahan, what he can do with someone that is so immensely gifted. Oh, right. I mean, gosh. it's, it is surreal. And I, I, to me, it's, it's, if, if the Jets go Wilson at two, and I think the Wilson fields debate will be very interesting. Yep. Um, but after that, I don't think it is that interesting. Honestly, I, I think Lance could be fine. Lance could be great but he's still probably a little bit raw. Um, and Mac Jones, who, who knows if he ends up in the right place and you can keep him upright, although he, he ran a much better 40 time than I thought he would um, is, is, is fine as well. It's, they are going to be the team that really drives the NFL draft. Like, yes, yes. It really does start there. Assuming it goes one, two, as we believe. Uh, I, I, just, I think it'll be I, fascinating. I guess I don't get it. You put him in that offense, and I think the the, the sky is the limit, right? For a quarterback yes. that can do all the play action, all the bootlegs, all the rollouts, and he's incredibly accurate throwing down the field, which is what Jimmy Garoppolo's biggest weakness is. It just seems like a perfect fit to me. And listen, until they make a pick that's not Justin Fields, I'm just going to assume that's what it is because that's what makes the most sense. 